Hello, I'm Haley Metcalf, and this is the Hawthorne Video Active Report. Intuit, the maker of Quicken and TurboTax software, is fighting to be the small business owner's first choice for mobile payments. Their Go Payment mobile app service is designed for small businesses that don't yet accept credit cards and features a magnetic strip reader that attaches to smartphones. Intuit's big competition is Square, a mobile payments company launched by none other than Twitter's co-founder, Jack Dorsey. The battle plan for Intuit is to offer Go Payment for free and promote its services through TV ads and YouTube videos. The question is, is it worth the battle? How profitable can small business owners and their small credit card payments be? As the once all-powerful internet portal left in the dust with AOL by Google, Yahoo has to do something to step up the competition. Their latest attempt, revealed at the Consumer Electronics Show, is Yahoo Connected TV, the first passive internet TV interface to allow content providers to pair their content offerings with personalized interactive content. That means as a user watches TV, Yahoo's sensing technology will take into account the user's personal profile in the content they are watching to give them an interactive experience. Watching the news on CBS may bring up a poll or a tidbit of information, while watching the Home Shopping Network may present you with an immediate purchasing opportunity. Top Screen 2 has the breakdown. As we all know, the new year brings in new business for millions of weight loss companies. Weight Watchers is at the top of that list and has already taken the cake using the recently transformed Jennifer Hudson as this year's spokeswoman. Their new interactive campaign brings in another familiar face, Tim Gunn of Project Runway. Members received e-newsletters about Gunn's involvement with Weight Watchers and can now visit weightwatchers.com to view videos of Gunn's style tips for the weight loss journey. Get started here on Top Screen 3. Delta is using technology to solve the age-old dilemma of the overbooked flight. Usually if a flight is overbooked, the airline is forced to select passengers to take a later flight, resulting in some very unhappy customers. The solution? Have passengers who check in online name the dollar amount to which they would relinquish their seats. In an overbooked situation, Delta simply selects the lowest bid. Yet another dilemma solved by interactive advertising. Just what will they think of next? Find out next time on the Hawthorne Video Active Report. For Hawthorne Direct, I'm Haley Metcalf.